Fernanda. Congratulations on this series. Uh, I just saw the first five episodes of Next, and I couldn't stop watching it. You're fantastic. You you are an amazing lead in this. Um, how do you get to uh, in your in the mindset to embody this character? Thank you. First of all, um, it's super kind, and um, I think I was just I couldn't wait. You know, when I read the the pilot and. It was just, it was so uh, engaging and thrilling and the stakes were so high and, and the way that it leaves you at the end of the first episode, you're just like, oh my God, I need, I need to know what happens. I need to see this through. And Shay Salazar was so uh, incredibly attractive to me because she's, you know, she's obviously an incredibly strong character, but she's, but there are, there's so much more to that for her, right? She's not just a regular FBI agent. She, she, and as you see through it, you, you know, she, she's kind of forced to face all of her wounds and secrets and pains and things that she was left behind and really didn't want or hoped that she, she'd been passed, right? And, and next, this, this, this thing kind of makes her, brings it to the forefront in the most terrifying manner that you possibly could. Um, so I think that, that that complexity of playing somebody that, you know, you get to see in many different facets, like in her workplace and in her family place and in her facing her, her demons, um, it was just, it was just, uh, I feel so lucky. Yeah, um, one of the most incredible things about this character for me is not only is she smart, but she is very emotionally intelligent as well. The dynamic within the family is is amazing, and the dynamic with her team is 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 great. Um, how do you distinguish how how she acts with you know her child and her husband as opposed to how she acts with her boss and her teammates? Yeah, you know, I think that I think that 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 was also what struck me about her because I think that often when we think about um, extremely you know high level professionals, we kind of we kind of don't think of them, unfortunately, as like hyper emotionally intelligent people or, or how hyper emotionally sensitive people. But I think that because of who she is and for her job, specifically in cybercrime, she had to get people and learn how people function in order to really do her job well. But at the same time, you know, she she picked a job for a reason. She works in cybercrime because She's not on the street. She's not working homicide. She's not a detective. She's not there face to face with this. So there's a comfort in, you know, in, in being behind a computer screen that she chose also for a reason, right? So she has this emotional intelligence, but she, there's still something keeping her from being able to face those things in real life. And I think that that's something that's really um, easily, easy to, to, to find, you know, compassion for and to and to understand because I think we all have a little bit of that for us and and that ability for her I think you know as with everything in life I think that it kind of seeps and in, into everything into her family life into her work life but she definitely uh, uses it in a very different way you know for work she she she's obvious she's 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 an alpha she's a boss but she does it in in a really empathetic and and grounded way, I think. And, and I think for her family and her family, I think because her life is so intense, right? The things that she deals with in cybercrime before even next comes around is really dark stuff. And so I think that her family is a little bit of a haven for her, a moment of like, so you see a bit of a softer side to her, you know, as soft as she's gonna get. Um, but you see a softer side to her, a side of her that she doesn't get to show her coworkers and the rest of the world. And you especially see that with her, that with her and Ethan, her child, and with her husband, where, where you see a part of, you also see a part of like her culture and of like her Latin roots, and as well as like how much family means to her, mm -hmm. right? And I think that that is something that drives her through this entire season. Um, and that also connects her to her work because her understanding how important those connections are drives her, I think, 
to do the best she can in her work and then to do the best she can once next comes around. It becomes truly a mission. Technology is a huge part of this show. Uh, how much did you learn about new technology coming out? Because this has such amazing um, inclusion of, of the new technology that is being worked on. And how much did you learn about yourself and your dependency on technology? Oh, my goodness. Well, I think before I started it and as I started, when, before I even read this pilot, I think it was a little bit like tucked away and I knew it was there and I would hear about it, but it really was kind of just like buzzing noise in the background, right? I wasn't, but once I started working on the show and my antennas were up, I started to really notice, oh my God, right? Just reading the news, you see like, you know, Elon Musk developed this coil that goes into people's brains and you can, you know, order Netflix to turn on from it or whatever. And then recently the Guardian um, put out an article about an AI who wrote this co-op piece. Mm -hmm. Like the AI wrote it and essentially the AI saying, you know, I have no interest, basically saying, I, I'm not gonna hurt you. I have no interest in the destroying humanity but I also know that I cannot stop myself from destroying humanity because I'm being programmed by humans and humans are self-destructive by nature. So he's basically saying, you're gonna destroy yourself anyway. I'm just gonna sit here and watch. And so that was really like a dawning, right? Um, I've, I've just shot this show, you know, months ago and now I'm sitting here opening my computer, reading this and I was like, is this next? <laughs> Like, is this actually next writing an article now? And so it's, it's, it's very real and it's very, um, it's, it's, it's much more rooted in the, the things we have access to, right? Our phones, like right now we're talking on this. So it's, we're completely integrated into this. And because of that, we're extremely vulnerable. So I'm so highly aware of that. And I'm also so, defenseless because I'm what you know am I gonna not use my phone am I gonna, am I gonna not gonna use my computer what do I do do I just go out and live in the jungle I don't know so it's it's this mutual internal struggle of I know this is happening but what do I do about it and I think that there's a little bit of that that I get to live out in fighting uh via Shay definitely and um Without giving away any spoilers, what can we expect from the show? Because it starts off with a bang, and th does it keep up with the intensity, or uh, what, what can we expect from the, the episodes to come? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I, I think I've said this before, but when I first met Manny Koto, the creator, I asked him, you know, what's going to happen this season? And he said, you're going to go through hell. And, and I really feel like this is so fast-paced. We're, we're against a clock that is unfathomable you know it, 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 a, a superhuman level artificial intelligence is so much faster than anything that we can comprehend so time is of the essence and it's getting it's this crescendo of it's getting smarter it's it by the second right it's getting it's growing so it's the stakes couldn't be higher and there's such personal stakes because it's really turning into this is this is starting to seep into each of our personal lives, not just mine, but every character in the show. And it's starting to turn us against each other. So it just keeps going to a complete heart attack, you know? Definitely. Well, yeah. congratulations on this show. You do an amazing job. Your entire cast is incredible. I know I'm going to be tuning in week to week to see what's, what's going on. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Hope you get to watch the rest of it.